Hey guys, so today I'm going to do a pop art tutorial. I really don't know what I'm doing, so if you're watching me, then we're all in this together if you've never done it before. It's a fun little quick makeup idea for Halloween coming up, or if you go to a carnival, or if you just want to do it for fun. So I'm excited to see how this turns out, and let's get started. First, I just want to show you the materials that I'm using. I just went to a Halloween store, and I bought this guy right here. This was $9.99. And then I also just bought some black cream makeup. I don't know which one I'm gonna use. I might end up using eyeliner because I don't know how this is gonna work out, but we're gonna try. Okay, to start, I think I'm going to start off with just some e.l.f. cream black eyeliner and I'm going to do my eyebrows. I could use this, I might go over it with this, but I think I'm going to be able to do it a little bit better with this. I'm going to start off my eyebrows by just following the natural shape of my brow. Then on this part of my brow, I'm just going to make it a little bit thicker and fill it in a little bit more. Now I'm going to take that black cream paint and put some on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna see how I like this. If I don't like the consistency of it or how thick it goes on, then I'll go back to using my eyeliner. And I'm just gonna draw a straight line right down the middle of my nose. And it's a good idea with this look to keep some Q-tips nearby so you can go back over and fix any lines that you mess up. Now I'm just gonna take my regular eyeliner and give myself a winged eye. And after I have my regular winged eyeliner, I'm just gonna go start adding other little lines to make it look like fake eyelashes. Then on my bottom lash line, I'm going to draw a liner and also on the outside corners, you'll notice I'll create the same type of effect I did at the top to give myself fake eyelashes, so just add a couple more lines to get that really nice drawn on eyelash effect. Then I'm gonna go above my crease line and just draw on this exaggerated crease line. Then I'm gonna take a white eyeliner pencil and draw it on my waterline. And it wasn't white enough for me, so I went back in that white paint that I bought and just applied it over that white eyeliner. Next, for the cheekbones and the jawline, just draw thin lines along your cheek and your jaw. And then to do your chin, just follow that little crease that you have right there naturally and then just follow your collarbone and the lines on your neck. Next, we're gonna draw on some tears. Ooh -hoo. So I'm taking the darker blue color first and just outlining some tears. And then I want to fill in the tears, so I just took that lighter blue color and filled it in with that. And then you can take your liner again and trace the outline of the tears. Now you want to make your tears pop a little bit, so just take that white and add it to the inside of the tears. Onto the lips, I just trace my lips with a black liner like I would naturally do my regular lip liner. And 
Then take whatever lip color that you want to use and fill in your lips. Some people like to use the bright pink, or most pop art it's a red lip color, but any color that you like. And then take your black liner and just follow along some of the lines that you naturally have in your lips. And then we're gonna go back to that white and give ourselves another highlight on our lips. I put it on each side of my lip on the top and the bottom. I just went back to my eyebrows because I wanted a more furrowed look, a more worried look, so I made them a little higher right there at the tip and also added the little line right there. And you don't have to add lashes, but I just wanted a full dramatic effect, so I added some lashes. And then I realized I want a little color on my lid, so I add Matte's Painterly Paint Pot as a base. And then I take one of Max Pigments, I'll write what color it is in the description box, and I just tap that on. And the last step, if you get oily like I do, I just took some of Laura Mercier's setting powder and put that in any place that I got really oily. Oh yeah, and I drew on my nostril. <laughs> If any of your lines are messed up, just go back through with a makeup wipe and clean them up. Okay, you guys, so that is the finished look. This is my first time even doing any type of fun, playful look, so I hope you guys like it. I hope it inspired you, and if you do it, tag me in it so I can see and comment on it. I hope you like it, and I hope you guys have a Happy Halloween, be safe, be smart. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. And also please turn on my post notifications so that you're notified right when I upload a video. And also leave me comments below. I reply back to a lot of comments. Love to interact with my subscribers. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like it and see you next video.